introduction and um, my name is Shan Shan and I'm from China. Uh, it's my honor to be here to share some of our projects related to the knowledge organization. Uh, so let me introduce my library first. Its whole name is National Science Library of Chinese Academy of Sciences. It was founded in 1950 and it now it has more than 400 staffs. Actually, it functions as a national research library for information resources in national science, and it can provide it, and it can provide services for the researchers and the students in the uh, Chinese Academy of Sciences. We can provide uh, several uh, many kinds of services like information analysis, uh, research information management, and digital library development, and scientific publishing. We have several departments, uh, more than 12, I think, departments. And my team works in the Department of Collection or, and Knowledge Organization Center. We have, more, we have about uh, seven members, and we mainly, we mainly focus on the research of the construction of knowledge organization systems. Also, we can provide uh, consulting services for some companies and to guide them to build their taxonomies in their organization. And my library locates in, the, in Beijing, which is the capital of China. I feel I'm interested in Beijing, welcome. Uh, this is the outline of today's talk, talk. I will give a brief review of the knowledge organization system. Then I will introduce two of our projects. Uh, one is, mm, the first is a wetland knowledge base, and then the, the second one is a, a ST course, which is also a knowledge organization system. I think most of you are feel very familiar with the knowledge organization system. I'll just give a brief uh, review. And I think uh, knowledge organization systems can, provide, uh, can contain all types of skills for organizing, uh, organizing information. It can be uh, um, grouped into about three groups, like the term list, classification, and the categories, and the relationship based. Today, many, mo most, of the, most people mainly focus on the uh, third one, like the uh, ontologies and even the knowledge graphs. And uh, I think knowledge organization systems can be used in a lot of applications, like the navigation system, which can help us to uh, derive the information in a hierarchical or a fast structure. Also, it can be used in some uh, semantic search systems to recommend some search word or give uh, some, some related information. And it can be used in some automatic indexing or tagging system. And it can be used in uh, for us to aggregate content. Some companies like BBC, they also build their uh, knowledge of um, their knowledge graphs. They to try to uh, <coughs> integrate all the information in their news to provide users uh, more specific information. And it can be used in some question and answering questions. If we, if we ask a question like who first landed on the moon, if we can check some information in web compass, if we have a knowledge base connected those uh, information, uh, which have all this information linked, we can quickly find the answer. So that's the application of knowledge organization systems. Um, now let me introduce one of our projects. The name is Wetland Knowledge Base. Actually, it's, it's an experimental research. Uh, we started this research about three years ago, and its motiva motivation is to build a dominant semantic knowledge organization systems for interdisciplinary scientific research, like knowledge discovery and ana analysis. We know in the area of wetland there is no, no uh, standard ontologies or, or taxonomies yet. So we want to build a, a wetland knowledge graph which can connect all the important entities in the area of wetland like uh, the 
animals uh, lives in this wetland, or uh, all the plants grow in this wetland. And also some research, like articles, focus on the um, wetland. And we also want to ex extract some uh, important information from these articles, like the author, the subject, and the organization. Um, we want to buy, combine all these important entities together and help users to uh, help it to support the knowledge discovery services like uh, to provide accurate retrievals and, uh, and to recognize some entities in the wetland area. Also some to provide uh, related knowledge discovery and information realization. Uh, this is the homepage of our system. We can see the um, from this page, we can see the global distribution of the wetlands. Oh, at first, I have to say because this is an experimental research, so the data is not so sufficient. We can just uh, take this as an example. <coughs> Where actually did you get that? Um, uh, um, is there a complete um, wetland database to show to? Uh, describe the locations of each of the. Oh, we found some database, but uh, this, the data is not so sufficient because some of them are just, just like American database or Chinese database. They are not uh, combined together. So but we not. see the dots all over the globe. Yeah, yeah we try, I will try to extract, but these are not very is sufficient. <laughs> okay. So you have integrated in different data sources that yeah. are not okay. Yeah. In some database we can provide some global data but uh, they not they, they are not they are just uh, ongoing in the database. Okay. Data, yeah. <clears throat> so this is the interface of the um, um, realization of the this distribution. If we click on the red dot, we can see more detailed information about this wetland, uh, like this one. Because the system is in Chinese, so I can just show you some of the information. I think most of you can understand it. Like this is the name of the wetland and the uh, the country it it, it is it, it locates, uh, and also the animals live live on in this uh, wetland and, and the plants grow in this wetland. wetland. This is more spec detailed information about this wetland. Our system also provides uh, di uh, dimensional uh, knowledge navigation like this. We can see the animal and the plants in, in this page. And on the left is the taxonomy of the animal all the plants. If, if we click the, the tree, we can find the more specific species. And this is a, a navigation from the wetland. And this is the, on the left is a, um, is a location of the wetland. It also is, a, is it can be displayed like a tree. And also we can uh, check the uh, articles in a subject. Um, dimension and, and this is a, we also build a taxonomy of the subject so we can um, show show the uh, specific search in the like this is a, this is a <coughs> is a topic of the articles. Our system also provides relative knowledge discovery. If we uh, like this in this. On page we can see the detailed information of the wetland and we uh, like the just some basic information and the uh, like uh, the animals uh, maybe in this uh, wetland if we click uh, on this in information on this <coughs> we can link to the uh, the page of the animal we can see the detailed uh, information of the animal like uh, the specific information of the, uh, the animal and then the article related to it. Mm. Uh, also, we can provide a research network. If we can, if we check an article, we can see the author. Uh, this is the author and the organization of the authors. Also, the keywords of it, this article. 
And also we can show some related information, like uh, we can because we can mine some information from the article, like uh, the uh, the animals was um, contained in this article, so we can extract this <coughs> and it can show you the related animals. But this re this relationship is not so specific because we just um, we just find the animals that was written in this paper, but the, the specific relationship uh, not yet uh, described. So the, this is an ongoing project. We are trying to make more pro improvements. Um, also, if we can find the um, researcher, like the author's information, we can see the, the articles and he or she write, and also the um, um, like the research topics and she he or she uh, is about. I think that the show of the, the the knowledge base to uh, to come to. We have some take some procedures to build this knowledge database. Uh, at first, we have to analyze. Uh, analyze the dominant knowledge and collect data from various sources. Actually, it's a really tedious job because we have to select a lot of <coughs> we have to select lot of data from various sources, and we have to clean it and formalize it. And at last, we have to integrate them. We uh, we collect data from two points. First is uh, general knowledge, we, we collect uh, some abstract data from uh, web of sciences and we, we try to uh, <coughs> we try to extract some information from the uh, abstract data like the person, the organization and we want to uh, try extract some extract the keywords to form to to build a subject taxonomy. We also try to uh, extract some information from the uh, full text. Um, just as I said, we just want to extract the, the information of the animal, the wetland, or the uh, plant, and the uh, longitude or latitude of the, the wetland. But uh, <coughs> we just uh, use some technologies like text matching, and we have been the in, uh, in the future, we can use some machine learning technologies to extract more specific data. <coughs> and the second um, kind of data is a domain knowledge, which can be uh, collected from uh, a lot of sources, like uh, <coughs> like U.S. Department of Agriculture. We can we can collect some plant data and some like uh, a wetland in China, there is a database in China, we can, we can um, extract some information about the animal. And also we can run, run some conversation, conventions to um, extract the wetland information and geo names. So now that we have some uh, the collection of our data is uh, the model of our collection is like this. this as we see, it's not so sufficient. Uh, to build the knowledge base, we also build a knowledge model which has some several levels, like the general knowledge can, can combine the relationships between people, organization, article, event, and project. Also, some dominant knowledge which can show the relationships between the plant, Animal, wetland, the country, or the area. Uh, as we, uh, we also uh, build some taxonomy like uh, Everglades, which can be used to form, formal, formalize a subject taxonomy, and also some plant or animal taxonomies for us to find some info, for us to grab the uh, information of the plant or animal. And this is an uh, entity um, relationship. Uh, build because it was in the mm. And the second procedure is to construct the, uh, the knowledge base. 
For us, first, we have to do some work like not, uh, entity recognition, which we can uh, extract, some, extract some information from the articles. And we have, we hope to, we, not, we link these entities together and provide a network of the uh, wetland. So that is the knowledge base. And our work still go ongoing and we have some, we, we also have some problem like the data is not so sufficient and we want to improve the uh, technologies of entity recognition and the relationship relation extraction. We want to use the full text to do some job to find the entities and link those entities together, especially those in the relationships between the wetland and the uh, plant or the wet relationship between the um, wetland and the animals. We want these re those relationships to be more specific. Uh, that is a project of knowledge, wetland knowledge base, and I just want to show you another project. The name is STCOS. The full name is um, Scientific and Technological Knowledge Organization System. This project is, is a government grant project, and we started this project in 2011. And, uh, it was implemented by China's National Science and Technology Library. Uh, our library is, is one of the members in, of, this, of the NSTL. Um, the background of this project is, is NSTL has a, a vast amount of collections, like journal collections and conference collections. But it's really hard for users to find uh, the the specific article in some area. As we can see, the our collections are mainly um, distributed in some, some like engineering and science or agriculture and medicine area. But we don't have a, a taxonomy or um, ontology to organize these uh, materials. So we want to build a scientific and a technological knowledge organization system to support uh, effective uh, organization and application in the area of scientific and technological uh, area. Mm, um, and this is background, I just passed it. And this is really a big subject, a big project, so we, pro we have some several small projects um, one of these is like build a, a knowledge organization system, um, and some some other projects focus on the construction of uh, a, a state a sustainable mechanic mechanism, and some of these pro projects focus on the application of the cost. Um, our team took part in the project of um, building the cost for the for the for the an STL. So um, we can see this is the an STL collection. We want to process this information to uh, provide users some some knowledge organizing knowledge discovery services like intelligent retrieval or and uh, and semantic noting or. Um, our job is to build a, a knowledge organization to support all these info, all these systems. And uh, briefly speaking, we give this knowledge organization system a name. We call it as TCOS Medicine Thesaurus. Actually, it's a big uh, vocabulary network. It can integrate concepts, terms, and the relationships derived from a, a variety of controlled vocabularies. In the, uh, scientific and technological technological area. <coughs> mm, uh, it's a network of source vocabularies, and these vocabularies are multidisciplinary, multi-format, and multilingual. We extracted terms from these source vocabularies, and uh, and through some semantic le le lexical computing, we build we build a, a concept layer. And the relationships between the 
uh, terms, all the concepts and the terms are derived from the source vocabularies. Uh, this network or this metathesaurus can serve as a knowledge source for development develop, developers in the uh, area of scientific, scientific and technology area, and it can be used as a tool in knowledge organization. Now, this is the framework of the, our ST course math thesaurus. We have the, um, several um, layers, like uh, this is a, a, a course registra registration system to store all the standard courses, and we build a source vocabulary warehouse, and this house contains all the uh, source vocabularies, uh, like thesaurus, the cat classification, classification patient systems and groceries or dictionaries. We extract terms from these vocabularies and we build a, a term base. The term base is just the very basic fund or fundamental. <coughs> we, we extract, uh, uh, based on this term, we build a standard uh, concept layer which can combine all the relationships between the terms of the original sources. Um, also, we build a category system to classify those standard concepts. We also build a data model to link all the information together, elements together. Mm. And this is a pro data processing uh, flow. Um, we extract some uh, source terms from the source vocabularies and through the duplicating and stemming or uh, merging, we, we can see this synonyms can be, um, can be combined in a cluster. Also, if we, if we can have some uh, synonyms but they have different um, expressions like maze and coin, we can use some semantic Merging to combine these words together. So this can be uh, a concept layer. This is uh, just the terms, uh, and this is a concept. Also, some words may have different meanings, like code, some means for adverb, or some uh, just uh, a code or a disease. We can just uh, separate it, this word into two different concepts. So this job mainly is. Mainly is done by some domain experts and the, the, this process, procedures are most done by machine. We use this process can finally be, give us a, a layer of the standard concept and this is just an example of our data. This is the idea of, the, of a concept which, is, which has can have some preferred label linked to uh, linked to some source vocabularies. This is the uh, original information from the source vocabularies. And we also build some uh, classic category system to classify this concept. So uh, this category system is also, is also built by uh, domain experts. Um, after this year's work, we have Collect. We have built a metathesaurus which contains more than 600,000 concepts and these concepts can link to more than uh, 2 million source terms. Uh, yes, we have, we have collected more than 200 source vocabularies. Um, and this work is still ongoing because those uh, source vocabularies are, are still up. Uh, are still updating, and uh, we want to um, be, we keep this our concept to be updated with the uh, uh, source vocabulary. So it's still ongoing, and we also built some uh, collaborative um, systems to support the uh, the construction, like a uh, uh, course registration system and a concept processing platform. Um, 
they build this uh, map as the coast map the service and uh, we want to share the data so we have a static cost sharing system which we can see all the data in the medicine service and we can see the realization of some concept we can see the synonyms and we can see the uh, sorry it's not very clear uh, we can see the original relationships between the, ter the terms so uh, 